good evening, everybody. Moody Monday. First one of the year, man. Here we go. Yesterday I thought I could have been dead today. So I used up all I had on yesterday. Today I got to thinking I may not live to see another day. So I spend all of my money on today Tomorrow if I'm still here What a sorry fellow I be For I'll have nothing left to spend on me Thank you Christian, right on Great to see you. Here we go. Blue Monday. How are you, Blue Monday? Gotta work like a slave all day. Here come Tuesday. Oh, hot Tuesday. I'm so tired. I got no time to play. music to get us going yeah I put together that video for you guys um, I'm gonna have to make a Don I took I stole one of your pictures too I forget if I put it on there or not if, if I didn't you're gonna be on you're gonna be on volume two and if you don't know what I'm talking about I made a little video we've been doing we've been putting together some videos in fact I could show you here why don't I take the opportunity right now to show you around a little bit I've never really done this before see we got that I know you guys are familiar with the, the red room curtain here. By the way, I saw that reference. Everybody that comes down here tells me it looks like Twin's Peak, Twin Peaks, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Well, I went on the internet and I found what. I, I, all right, I get it. I get it. I get it. Coffee? Do you like coffee? And the little dude walks around all strange. Yeah, okay. It does look a lot. It's. Especially with the floor, it does look a lot like the, the weird red room in, in Twin Peaks. You got me, all right? So check it out. Here, I'm going to give you a little tour. This is what we're working with. Actually, I just got a message from Kiefer. I got, I've been bar Kiefer, uh, my buddy Kiefer has been letting me borrow these mics since we did that show back in uh, uh, what was it, Memorial Day weekend. So Kiefer, thank you for getting the, getting the show rolling. Coffee? You like coffee? You know what I mean? And everything they say is backwards in that backwards sound. All right. That's the twin. Uh, so watch here. Check it out. I'm getting a behind the scenes view today. Hopefully I don't spill my water. Because look, we got it set up real nice. And we, we showed a bunch of this on New Year's. 
And this is the board. You boys bored? Step into a, a Yamaha. That's my little board. Nothing, nothing too great. But the the cool thing about this board is that it's got the uh, the USB output that goes right into my. Uh, I hope we don't break the matrix by pointing this directly at the. No, we won't watch. Here's our the Chromebook we got. Oh, look at, oh see. We're breaking the matrix there. A little paradox. All right. So this is our setup from the backside. There's our little pedal. We got that from Bobby Pickett. Help me get this, pick up this pedal here. All right, here's my lights pedal so we can switch up the, the view of the lights. And then these are the other lights we got set up over here. There's the Cora. We don't have any decorations hung up tonight because we were, we've were we been doing some renovating and getting the place looking decent. All right, and then as you can see over here, hopefully you can still hear me. There's the stairs up to the rest of the house. Um, we got this set up like a little office now, kind of. I got my computer over here to do the editing. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but this is what the first couple minutes of the show is going to be really. Sorry. Look at. So as you can see, we got quite a, quite a serious operation going on here. Um, I don't know what they've been working on here. But... So this is where we do our editing and stuff. I got some nice candles. So for the guests that want some better air quality. Sorry if I'm making you shaky here. And then the cool thing back here. Well, I'm not going to take it all apart. But as, you, as we showed you on New Year's, this opens up now. And we got a whole, that looks like the red room carpet, huh? So we got this whole area in the back. But when we have our guests over, they can open that up farther. All right. So that was the tour. What would you think? That was nice. I don't think I ever gave you the tour. Maybe I swing this thing around a little bit here and there, but I never really showed you. I never really showed you the operation. <laughs> that was my dumb operation joke, by the way. I didn't have the board game. Right? All right, let's play some songs. Let me scroll this up and see what's up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, April with the jokes. April Yvonne's always... Ch Get your speakers out of those trees. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I, well, yeah. If I wasn't speaking into the mic, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Okay. Um, but anyway, I just want to show you around a little bit. Okay. So let's get into it, huh? So check it out. Yeah, with this, I can, with this foot pedal now, I, I add a little bit of a stuff here. Okay, here we go. Let's do, uh, we're going to do a lot of, uh, a lot of originals here for Moody Monday. Uh, oh, yeah, and look at this. I don't know if you, I don't know if the camera caught this. See the calendar we got set up here? Got Johnny Cash staring me down over there. And that's the calendar. You can't see the words, but we got the calendar's filling up. We got uh, Bobby Pickett coming back. We got my friend Phil Crouch coming uh, this week. My sister Melissa is going to be here tomorrow singing. Um, our friend Juliana is coming back to sing. Um, so yeah, lots, lots to look forward to this month. Uh, my buddy Jay Hamilton is going to be coming down. Uh, who else? Chris Blaine's coming back. Hey, Mary. Right on. <laughs> you got some good jokes there, April. I know your secret. You're stealing them. I know you're stealing them from Alexa, though. Oh. <laughs> you got some good ones there, April. Uh, all right. Let's do some music. Oh, and yeah, and I apologize to everybody. I had to... Uh, I had to stock your Facebook pages and steal some of your photos to make that video. I hope you don't mind. Made that little video for show is nice to say thanks. All right. And I put you guys in it. We're going to have to do a volume two, though, because, like, I immediately uh, I immediately realized I had forgotten many people. We couldn't fit them all in there. So we're going to have to do a volume two. Let's see. Put everybody else in there. Get some more of you. If anybody wants to be in a video, uh, 
I'll put you in there. <laughs> All right. Uh, where were we? Where? Nope. Turn you up. Yep. Yep. There we go. One other thing about the video before we start. If anybody's got a picture that you want me to take out of it, I can edit it. Uh, if you if you want to um, send me a picture you'd rather me use, I could totally do that. It wouldn't be too big a deal. But I, I liked all the pictures I were in there. I wouldn't have put it in there if I didn't think it was flattering. I liked, I liked the smiling ones, you know.
nights That circle on back again I know you found your way home Out of your breath In the moonlit whisper The grace is tender and warm Oh, it's there
thanks, Jim. And stay a while. Here by the fire.
Jimmy, uh, Jimmy's asking what the song before this one was. Um, that was uh, it's called She's Here by Max Creek. This one here is called The Sidewalk Ballet by me. I'm keep saying to my mind Bring back reason, bring back crime If you knew how much I care Time would burn in the air Back when you were still alive Back when I was making time Been a few years but we're moving on Been a few years since you
lots of old left town And the bands all stop their sounds When the last tents have been rolled up And everybody's bought and sold their luck If you look for me downtown Chances are I'll still be hanging around Waiting for someone to pick me up Maybe you could come and fill my Good to see you, Evan. Nice. All right. <laughs> I was, I'm gonna, usually when little things like this happen, I keep it to myself. I'm going to show you this. I, I, I hit my thumb like well, almost a month ago at the very beginning of, of this thumb, and now the, the nail is starting to grow out, and like the, like the there's like a hole in my thumbnail that's gradually going to keep growing until it's gone. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. I don't think it will. I think we're good. But it's starting to it's starting to catch on the string once in a while. Okay, a little in, too much information. That might be too much information. Hey, thank you everybody um, who uh, who was down here for the for our New Year's spectacular. That was pretty wild, huh? Um, we had a great time down here. Emma was down. We had uh, Bobby Pickett. Um, we're going to be open, opening up the uh, the curtain for a few more shows this week. I leave it. I'm going to leave it closed for the for the solo shows and maybe with the duo shows. Another fun thing we're going to do this uh, month. Um, we're going to have Kevin, my buddy Kevin Bryson, does. Uh, hey, Donnell, great to see you. He does uh, like like light projection, so we're going to hang like a sheet up back here instead of the instead of the curtain. One of these one of these nights. What what is he's down? He's on the calendar for the 18th. Uh, but I also saw on Facebook he broke his, he broke a bone or something. So you don't need bones to project lights, do you? Nah, he's fine. All right, Kevin Bryson, peace. Hope you're doing all right out there. 
Oh, my finger's fine. I'm just... my it, uh, It's just... It catches on a stray, though. No, no, no. See, that's why I don't mention things like that, because then people start commenting and giving me suggestions. I don't want any suggestions. It's fine. It's freaking fine. I just bite it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do a Rob Merdero song. Uh, our buddy Rob wrote the lyrics to this one. Oh. Oh. I should wait. I should wait for a train song, but I got a new train whistle. My sister Melissa, who's going to be down here tomorrow singing, got me this train whistle with a significant date on there of one one twenty, which is the afternoon I kind of stopped drinking. That kind of I did. Right, here, you want to hear it? It's got a sharper. It's got a different tone than the other one. Wait, it's not the same without the. You need to put the lonely the lonely reverb on there. Not bad. That was a lot of reverb. All right. Here's the old one. This is my grandfather's whistle, though. Oh, shoot. I think there's a train at my front door. I got to put these away. I'm attracting all the trains. <laughs> I do pretty much live on a train hub over here in West Springfield. Yeah, you like it? That's what she was talking about. And she kept saying, she goes, Jeff, did you open your present while, I was doing, while we were doing the show? And she's talking about this. And this was like wrapped up in, in I couldn't see it in the bag of other things. There was like balloons and stuff that we, I hadn't gotten to. And anyway, she had gotten me another present too. Another, she had gotten me another, another present. And I thought she was talking about that. She goes, did you get your present? It was important. I said, yeah, I already rolled it up and smoked it. What are you talking about? She goes, no, not that present. I said, oh, it's a train whistle. It's like a, it's like a. <laughs> All right. All righty. I'm silly. Amy says I'm silly. Hey, I'm serious about my comedy, all right? And I'm silly about my music. No joke there. Wait, let's get a different sound for the. Let's get a different sound for the. Um, we could switch that sound up now. So, not that. That wood block is kind of taste tasteful. There's some weird. There's some, there's some weird. We'll go with that. We'll go with. Sounds like a little snap. Oh yeah. Still 
snapping with my toes, you're right. Hey, Kiefer, right on. Well, I woke up on the next morning. Morning the loss of my mind. Carly Wheeler, good to see you. Carly Wheeler, my my neighbor in town. How you feeling, Carly? If you're feeling better, you're gonna have to take another date here on the calendar. I'm gonna get you over here with your banjo. Carly is a musical guest. She's been down here before, singing her heart out. <laughs> Thanks for being down here, everybody. I love what we got going on. I do. It's beautiful. A beautiful, a beautiful thing we got here. And uh, let's get into it. We wrote, a, we wrote a ton of tunes this year. Uh, so Monday, Monday's the day we usually do most of the original songs, and and we 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 kind of like chill out and talk a little bit, and give you the tour, that sort of thing. Oh. Evan, you didn't see what's behind the curtain? Well, for we uh, we opened up the curtain for the first time on, on on our New Year's show. I'll give you a quick if you're just chiming in if if you're not if you're not familiar. I'll show you. So far, like the show had only been with this curtain, and even the curtain was was much closer. I moved the curtain back by 16 inches. And uh, and check it out, Evan. I don't want to go, well, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you. This whole thing, I take it down now. We're even going to get some drummers over here and stuff. I even painted the pole red to make it scarier, I don't know. And we got a whole... We got our whole stage back here now. Oh, you can't really see it too good from there. I'll show you. Here. Can you see this? So it goes back like another four feet. I put it up. I built a little stage back there. Put it up on, on uh, Bobby Pickett. Helped me out a little bit. I got that set up before the New Year's show. It was hard to keep it a secret. It was there for a few of the shows before, and I didn't mention it. Because we wanted to wait till New Year's to show that. We'll get some use out of that this month. Donnell, you, we got to get, we can, I'll get you up here, Donnell. I'm not sure what you're, I'm just looking at the, thinking about you. Do, 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 do. All right, all right. 
it is more spacious down here. It's nice. It's actually it's very comfortable down here now. I I like what I've done with the place. If I, I don't mind saying so myself. All right, where are we gonna go? We are gonna go. We're gonna do some new ones. Check this one out. Let's get a better um put the snare drum on down here. Sorry guys. Yeah. Okay. This is all ain't gonna do it. System. 2020 music. How's this one go? Oh, yeah. Turn it up here. Not that much. And go. Take my 
See you, brother. Right on. Laura Deeds, are you still talking about show 96 out there? Do it. <laughs> I'm trying to put that. I'm trying. I'm try, I didn't want to delete it. Because then this would only be one, show 106. You know, like. I'm trying not to bring so much attention to show 96. All right. Jesus. Okay. It was a fine show. Don't worry about it. Um, all right, where are we going? <laughs> oh, thanks, Carly. That one's called Foxhole. I knew Carl liked that one right on. Carl made the video. <laughs> I'll make an. I'm gonna make another video with um with all the people, the other musical guests too. I started getting pictures of it. And started putting some of the pictures of some of the musical guests. I said, no, no, I, I wanted this video. The show is nice video, just to be only you guys. And uh, and I'll do one with the musical guests another time. But yeah, we got we got some. Uh, we've been doing some. Hey, thanks, Robert. Appreciate that. Um, I've been doing some music, uh, some editing, some video editing, which I had never gotten into before. Yes, thank you, Laura. There we go. Don't watch any. Thank you. Jeez. I appreciate you keeping that one under the, under wraps like that. That's good. I want you to tell them not to watch it. Okay. Uh, where were we? We're we're in the elevator, and we're going up. Oh, I got one for you. We do some Max Creek songs down here sometimes. I think, in case you didn't notice, and uh, that's where we're going to go next. Tiffany, stop it! Jesus. You're on thin ice there, Lake, Monsoon Lake. We're gonna get you up here one of these, one of these, maybe, maybe, maybe sometime this summer, Tiffany. We're gonna get Tiffany up here one of these times. You're not, you're not that far away. Yeah. 
And if you think that's good, you should see my Louisiana daughter. Oh! I couldn't help it, I'm sorry.
just went right. So I take her through the space and she puts on a face. I see her chasing disgrace. She knows how to hide. So I'm waiting in the wings as a citizen to fill this song's out in the street. A constant reminder every time that I find her breaking down and crumbling right beneath my feet. You're never gonna hear about her tragedy. She's gonna push it deep down inside her body. I know her life is a calamity. She's gonna ride on.
archer scans along your tree lines too for any clue. It's a sign of you. Are we getting through? for Donnell.
go, Donnell. That one's for you. All right. And everybody else down here on the Spirit Elevator tonight on Moody Monday. This is fun, isn't it? I love our meetings. Our, our Acoustics Anonymous down here. These are the meetings I go to. Keeps me off the streets, you know? All right. So, yeah, if you want to... Um, if anybody wants to um, help out the show, all the information is there. If you, um, April, great to see you. Nice. Um, and all the uh, all the shows are archived on the page. Share the page, like the page, follow the page. I don't know the difference between like and follow. Just do both, and uh, and spread the word. I'll let, I'll let your friends know that we do this down here every night, eight o'clock. All right. This is the the friendliest, least political show on Facebook. If you want to get away from the bullshit, just come on over here, 8 o'clock every night, and we have a good time. Don't we, Laura, Misty, Lydia, Brad, right on. All right. <laughs> Laura, my biggest sponsor. <laughs> Thank you. Couldn't do it without you. Nice. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to keep doing some more. We got some more editing to do, too. Um, We've been really going at it down here. We've been working hard. Carly, you're going to be back here as soon as you're feeling better. Let me know. You can come on down. We'll get you up there on the... The dates are going, though. The dates are going. Can you see the calendar? I'll show you. We'll get the calendar back there. All right, we're going to do like two more songs. Um, do I do the live stream on YouTube? I post these to my YouTube page after the show. So every one of these shows is up by 8 in the morning. Um, so you can watch it after the fact on YouTube. But... Uh, I can't put them up live yet, but probably, probably by the spring I'll have that together. We need more. I need more um, uh, subscribers on the YouTube page too, so subscribe to that and share that or share that around. <coughs> A funny thing. I mean, not to get into all the minutia of it, but uh, uh, when I when I upload, I have I have gone live with the exact same setup onto YouTube, and for some reason it compresses the sound and it sounds it doesn't sound the same. It doesn't sound good. Um, you can do it with like just just a regular microphone of the phone or whatever. But the way I do it, going into the into the computer, um, I don't know why. I've tried it many different ways, and it's still it's it doesn't sound it doesn't sound quite right. So I'm working on it. Um, so, but yeah, uh, I learned so much about all this stuff this year. I didn't. I'm I'm not like a computer guy whatsoever, or uh, um. I'm not that smart, but I'm trial and error. I'm really good at, you know. So we learned a lot this year about all this, about all this stuff. I do know about these boards. I know, I know how to run a soundboard, but I did, uh, like connecting it to the, to the computer side of things was all new to me. And uh, we're doing all right. We got our shit together now. I tell you, kind of. Uh, we're gonna do like two more songs here tonight. Um. I want to keep it original too. That's the other thing about the YouTube. Every time I put one on there, which is not a big deal, um, it gets a, a copyright strike, which has nothing to do with my page. Just means you can't monetize it, which I've, I haven't made any money on it anyway. So, but eventually, maybe. Um, uh, so I just wanted to see what would happen if I I want to have at least one. I want to have at least one of these videos up there without any any covers on it, unless Max Creek wants to sue me. I suppose he could. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got one for. Let's go. Let's go for a little ride across the plains. Yeah, I say I learned by trial and error, but when you um when I make my mistakes in public, I call it trial and embarrassment, and it, and it actually speeds up the process. Yeah. All right. Couple other ones here. Do you remember? All right, a couple more tunes here, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, my sister's coming down tomorrow. We're going to do... Um, actually, no, this is perfect. Okay, I don't want to do any songs that she would be singing on, although I've done a it's a whatever. Okay, Melissa Carrera is going to be down here tomorrow singing with us. We're going to do some of her songs, too. I'll probably bring the... Uh, I'll probably bring the upright down. I'll make a good plan for tomorrow. 
So hey, thanks, thanks everybody. I'm gonna say good night now, um, so it doesn't get awkward. After Alice, we're just gonna cha cha cha, and we're out. All right. Oh, we're just gonna, and we are out. Love you guys. Thanks so much, and we will see you next Tuesday. Sometimes I get caught reading the comments and I and I mess up. I was, if you are in front of a crowd or a camera, and if one brain shuts off, I hit peak embarrassment so many times. Oh, yeah, right. I used, I get I get nervous in before these things too. It's a different kind of nervous but than uh, in front of a crowd. I love I love doing these by the way. Now I I almost like people are like, oh Jeff, what are you gonna? Aren't you um? Aren't you excited to get back to playing live gigs again? I'm like, oh, what? Uh, you know, you know, you know. I got kind of a kind of a thing going on here. You know. I don't care about going to do live gigs anymore. I'm doing the podcast. I like to commute. I like the, this satisfies all my creative um, everything I need to get out right here. I don't have to go to a bar. This is wonderful. I love having you guys down here. You can talk over my songs and it doesn't bother me in the least. It's wonderful. I do way more original music down here than I, than I would out at a bar. Um, people can can see me from Montreal. I'm sure Brad wouldn't make it down to um, the Wales Irish Pub if I was playing there next week. We get to have friends like Car That's the other thing. I get to have all all my different friends. It doesn't. I don't have to, I don't have to just... Play with one set thing. I can have all all my music friends. Everybody gets nervous, Donnell. If they if they're if they don't, they either they either don't care enough or um or they're lying. <laughs> it's good to get a little bit nervous. It means you care. <sighs> um. Okay. So that's kind of all I wanted to say is just another another big thank you. And um. Uh, and just let you guys know that this is sincere. I love it. And I love writing songs for the show and uh, learning new songs for the show. And uh, I love seeing you guys. Sarah, thank you so much. Okay. Now I will concentrate and play the remaining two songs. <laughs> Ship running tight, add more fuel to the fire. We'll be rolling all day. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and this is no time to bluff. For we can predict the weather, and the storm's fixing to be rough. Beautiful night on the mountain tonight, it's a beautiful night on the mountain tonight. Beautiful night on the mountain tonight, it's a beautiful night on the mountain. Thirty lonely 
years Wandering along Wondering just how did I get here Every stranger's face Reveals another song Every song reveals another tear His old hometown He could never return to It's a story too chilling to tell I'll chase them out They released all their hounds And in his dreams they chase him into hell He was a desperate man With a knack for creation As God held his hand along the way He was a traveling man A living life was his occupation And he never called in sick or calm was a desperate man with a knack for creation. His God held his hand along the way. He was a traveling man, a living life was his occupation, and he never called in sick or complaints along the way. Miles to go before we see snow on the mountain. Colorado is on the horizon tonight. Just keep that banjo lit up like a fire. You're my candle that keeps the highway bright. All through the night. Hear you dreaming Cleaning out The closets in your mind I keep my head low Drive under the radar So later on We can still be on this ride There's no place to hide on the mountain no place to hide in the snow No more caves or caverns or taverns on this road There's no place to hide on the mountain Nowhere to sneak by or lay low No more saves or cuddles or battles on this road One to go Hey Glenn All alone Years alone, he sits at home in silence As violence in the hills begins to rise Looking down, he can see the fires And the hills now see the fires in his eyes There's no place to hide on the mountain no place to hide in the snow No more caves or caverns or taverns on this road There's no place to hide on the mountain No way to sneak by or lay low No more staves or cuddles or battles on this road
For my friend, will you be my partner? For my friend, will you be my archer? Will you take out all my enemies? Through the fog I cannot see. Will you watch the tree line till daylight? Protect me while I sleep tonight. For my friend, will you carry this load for me? Just a few more days and I'll take it back with you. My strength again. Counting who I count as friends. Gonna count you out or count you in. Let you out on, but together we win. Oh, 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 Make sure you like and follow and subscribe to the uh, page and to the YouTube page and to the Facebook page and uh, drop a little tip if if uh, if you want to support the show. And um, that's right. She's here. Oh, shoot. You want to go like this. Okay. See you tomorrow, everybody. Good night. Woo. Love you guys. All right. Thanks for supporting the show. And we'll see you tomorrow. Melissa. Melissa Carrera. My sister, Melissa. My sister, Melissa, is going to be down here tomorrow. So, uh, thank you. I, I hope that drum is not too much. I'm, I'm working it in. I'm working in the new, the new uh, pedal. I showed this to you earlier. But I'll show you again what we got down here. Uh, it's kind of hard to show you. That's my pedal. This is how I switch the lights. And I, switch. Then I can change the sound. I can change it to like a bass drum. And sometimes I can change it to hi hats. Or I can change it to Star Wars sound. Or, oh, that's a nice 808 bass drum. That's a timpani. Sorry. There we go. You like my pants? Thanks. I had a pair of glass pants once. Did I ever tell you about that? I'm a pants connoisseur. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I used to I used to be so into pants. I had paper pants. I had uh, cardboard pants. I had a pair of wooden pants I used to like to wear around town. <coughs> of course, I had steel pants and aluminum pants and, and every other kind of metal. Um, but I never had any glass pants, and I always wanted them. And... Uh, so I had an opportunity one time to go to New York City 
and while I was there, I said, I'm not going to miss this opportunity. I'm going to go to the largest pants store in, uh, in the country. And uh, if they don't have the, my glass pants there, maybe I'm going to give up. So I went and I asked the manager. I said, manager, come here. You, you, this is the largest pants store in the country, right? He goes, it sure is. In fact, in fact it's, it's arguably the largest pants store in the world. And I said, my goodness, that's amazing. Uh, you, so you must have what I'm looking for. He goes, well, what are you looking for? I said, I've searched long and long and long and far and wide and wide and big and tall and uh, and I, I'm looking for a pair of glass pants. Guy looked at me like I was an idiot. He said, "Get the hell out of my store right now! There's no such thing as glass pants. You make me sick." And I said, "It was a pretty harsh reaction, but uh, I, I I I walked out. I said, okay, I guess there's no glass pants. Fine." And I was shattered. Uh, and I walked out. The, I walked out the store, and I was moping around New York City, and went back into this. I found this little shop in the back of Chinatown, and I went down in there, and, and I was looking, and I. And lo and behold, I look in the back of the store, and and sure enough, there was a little glass teapot back there. But behind the teapot was a pair of glass pants. Like I had never seen, I moved this thing. I said, my goodness, and it was my size and everything. I couldn't believe it. And uh, so I put them on, I tried them on right away. And the, the, the store owner comes in and goes, oh, you like the glass pants? I said, I do, I do. I've been looking everywhere for these. So I tried them on, I paid, it doesn't even, I'm not even gonna tell you what I paid for them. It was a little embarrassing, it was, it was a lot. So I paid for the glass pants and I walk out of the store with my glass pants on and, uh, and I went back immediately. The first thing I did, I went right back to that big, big pants store where the guy kicked me out and, and ridiculed me. And I walked in there with my pants, like Julia Roberts from, from Pretty Woman when she went back into that store now that she had the money. And she goes, and I walked in and I go, huh? I go, get the manager over here now. I go, I got something to show him. I walk in there with my glass pants on and he comes out there. I go, huh, huh buddy, what do you think? What do you think now? And he goes, my God, when you first came in here asking for glass pants, I thought you were crazy. But well, now I can clearly see your nuts. I'll play your number, Alice. I'll play your number tonight. We'll split it 50 50. If it happened to turn out right, you always were the lucky one. You always made it look easy. You always hold the biggest guns. You never gave up without a fight. That's what I said. I walked in there with my class pants. I said, big mistake. Huge. Remember our night in Atlanta when you stole the crystal ball from a Spanish madam? The side of the concert hall, I saw you lost your karma. Your numbers haven't come up since, but if you really wanna, I'll see if your digits hit. I'll play your number, Alice. I'll play your number. 50. If it happened to turn out right, you always were the lucky one. You always made it look easy. You always hold the biggest guns. Never gave up out of fame. Remember our drive through Montana? It was a long and lonely night. I was a really big fan of Miss Riley and James that night. I know you thought I was wacko. I tuning in as long as I did, but nothing goes with tobacco Like the occult and the aliens I'll play your number, Alice I'll play your number tonight I'll split a fifty fifty If it happened to turn out right You always were the lucky one You always hit it look easy You always won the biggest guns Never gave up without a fight <laughs> Yeah, Glenn I didn't have the pants too long. I, I got excited and I, I smashed them. <laughs> when we got back to our hometown, not getting anywhere USA, we knew we'd never could get back to like it was back in the day. We'll have to build a new life, but I'll never forget what I don't get upset when I burn. I play your number, Alice. I 